today we will find out who the winners are. There are 14 people left to be rated. Here is where we left last time. What What am I supposed to do? Like people are gonna be like, oh, I'm well, not why gonna... Don't you, why don't you message Tolga and say to him, we gave him a 10, but we can't let him win. <laughs> okay, I'll think about it. We'll continue. <laughs> it's not gonna be fair. Like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll think, think about it. it. Okay, here. Oh, we come on, hurry up. You know, you told me to hurry yes. up and you're busy. You know. Yes, yes, here. I'll give this a little 6.5. I'll give this an 8 for design and a 6 for execution because I think that silver thing in the middle could have been done a little bit better. I mean, I, I love the lettering. I love the balance. You know, it sort of reminds me of, of Tama's work. Change mine to 7. Uh, I'm a huge fan of calligrams. This is not a calligram. Okay, we also have to to make a new word for uh, shapes like this. But there's another thing. Frack 1. Another... Another... <laughs> <laughs> what to do now? Okay, well... <laughs> Hard work! You're setting me up, Milan. Well... Okay, I'll give this a 9. 9.5. 9.5. I, I... I will give this... I'll give this a 9. I love the design. I love the balance. I love the writing. I like the space, you know. Frax is just brilliant. I love Frax. And still. Still gave him a 9. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, compared to what Tolga did, the design yeah. is very different. True. What about this? This is the same artist that did the circle. Yes. So, and, so, and I think number two or three. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. Too many entries. <laughs> Well, I like really, this. really good work. Yeah, I like this much more than the other one, so I give this an eight. Design-wise, I'd give this a nine because the design is really good. I love the layout. I love the color. I love the gold. I love you know these these filigree patterns, uh, litera florisa patterns that we see that Benoit is obviously has influenced um, this person. I'd give the execution either seven or eight because I love how the gold is mottled through the blue. I, I like this. I really like this. I, overall, I would give this an eight. Okay, second entry by this dude. I think it's better than the first one that we look. What? Because the W is connected at the bottom. <laughs> no, I just like the piece, you know? I don't have the technical stuff when I see a piece like you. With me, it's very easy. I either like it or I don't like it. I mean, oh, this with is... me, it's not easy at all. <laughs> I know, that's what I mean. I'm very binary. One or zero. This is okay. I give this a 7.5. I should give this a 6 because I know that he can do better. I know his work is a lot more accurate. Um, but I'll give it a 7 because I like the design, I like the layout, I like the intermingling of the red and the black, and I like the space, so I'll give this a 7. Another one. I, I love Newland. Newland? How do you pronounce it? Neuland. Neuland. What the? <laughs> Neuland. I love Neuland. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the best execution of Nolan. Still, I like this entry quite a lot. I mean, there is some issues. I don't know what exactly, but I'll give, yeah. The, okay, I'll give this a seven. Go back to the second picture. I think this is a much better aspect for the script because it's a vertical script. It's upright. You shoot it at an angle and it really distorts the lettering. I like Moila. I don't practice it because I don't like to write it. Just, it doesn't really appeal to me. Um, mm. I think this is good. The execution is good. The shapes are good. The balance is good. The space is good. I'd give this a eight. Wow, wow, okay. Usually I give the, okay, a lot of entries by this guy. Wait, guys, he, he paid me some money to be with more entries. In... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Like, some people are participating more than others. And I love this one. This is actually a nine for me. Okay, let, let me see the second picture again. So, you know, guys, if you're doing a, if you're doing a vertical design, don't shoot it at an angle because it doesn't help. Right. It doesn't allow us to see what's going on. I like this. I like the design. I like the layout. Execution is a little bit problematic and the ink smudging on that W is up. I give this a seven. It's amazing what details you pay attention to. <laughs> it's it's also great, of course. This is cool. I like this a lot. Straight straight away, eight point five. Oh, really? Yeah, I I mean it. I I can see it's not the best execution, but overall it looks very appealing to me. I like the flow of the letters and yeah, eight point. I like the idea. I like concept. I just sort of feel it looks like too too much like John Stevens. Okay, well, and, oh. you know, it's like we were saying earlier on. You know, if you are influenced by somebody, it's one thing, but when the work looks so much like what. They they produce that's a little bit of a problem you know I, I don't know it just I look at this and I just see John's work. Oh, downgrade mine to 7.5 the execution is good this I mean to be able to produce these beautiful serifs execution what, oh, a few months ago I heard Paul Antonio come oh okay this is so he's talking about something that I talked about earlier on about what's written and what is lettered I actually replied to this as a 
big comment on this. I think execution wise, the Ceres alone would put it at, an, at a 9 because it's really difficult to do this kind of good writing. Mm. The W is a little bit shaky, the K is a little bit shaky. I'll leave it at a 9. Great. I don't like the fact that it looks like John's book. That's a problem. Is this also John work? <laughs> no. Oh, I give this a, uh, a, a 7. I think the design, there's a really nice idea behind this. I just don't think it's executed properly. For the design, I'd give it an 8 and for the execution, I'd give it 6. We are almost done. Second entry by this dude. This looks very simple and everything, but I just like it. Okay, I'll give this 8.5. I, I, I love this style because Jürgen Verkamp produces some amazing work. And he's been doing a lot of teaching, teaching this kind of half-hatching style, which I think is great. I can see his influence in this. I can also see that it, it's a little bit more personal. I like the shape. I like the execution. I'd give this an 8. I'm really confused. I, I don't think we're going to have another third. So is Toga the winner? Okay, this is Spencerian. Well, not really. <laughs> yeah. Well, I give this a seven. It's a Spencerian influence. It's a combination because look at the W. The K. Yeah. If it's Spencerian, the K is wrong because of, of how the shape is. You know, you can't the, the weight on the P and the way the letters are written. Uh, you know, I, I had to tell somebody in one of my challenges to reshoot the photography because you know I'm doing this challenge on accuracy, and this girl posted these images, and I couldn't I couldn't zoom in. I couldn't look at them. They were so blurred, and I was sort of sort of in the same situation. I can't really see what's going on. Here. I think this is the best picture out of all. I can't really comment on what I can't see. I mean, you know, the, des the design is nice. Um, the design, I'd give the design a seven. It's not that complicated. I mean, execution, I can't really say what's going on because I can't. Some of those lines are pretty shaky. You know, if you're using a nib, I don't understand how you're getting deposition in certain places unless you're going back and adding pressure. I'd, I'd give the execution a six. Third entry by the same guy. Okay. Yay! Love dreaming dogs ruling pen. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Okay, I, okay, I like this a lot. I don't know, is, is it the letters or just the colors or combination of things, but uh, I'll give this a nine. I like this. I like. I think for the design, I'll give it a nine. For the execution, I'll give it an eight because I love how much white space there is between the white and the red and the K. And I sort of feel that that doesn't happen with the rest of the letters, especially that R, E, I, T. WP just don't and it, it really especially in there it needs that white space you know handling this ruling pen is a nightmare you have to have a lot of skill to handle this tool last two entries okay this is I give this a 10 <laughs> Yes, I love it. I mean, I love the letters. I I don't know. It's probably it's not the traditional on show. Probably there's something. I did. It, it's very creative. Like in general, I love the work of this dude. He does super cool things. Like here is the nip in the middle. Like there is idea, and I love the execution. So yeah, this I, is. A I thing. think the I think the design. I would honestly, I would give this up. The design. A 10. I would give the execution an eight. What? You know, my problem with this is looking at this. You can see that this person has a lot of skill in the way they handle a tool yeah. and they, they just didn't apply the skill. I, yeah. I, I really struggle with this, you know, because it's sort of at odds with itself, you know, to produce such a good design, to have the ability to produce accurate strokes and then to not apply it. I, I have a problem. Fair enough. Last entry. Happy shake again. Yay. Yeah. Okay. Probably this is my favorite from all his entries. I love the K. I love the W. Letters look good to me. So I I give this a 10. I like the design. I'd give the design, you know, an 8. I think the execution, I'd probably give it an 8 as well. You know, there's some issues with the with the, the, the deposition of weight, you know, the top of the K versus the top of the W. And it makes the whole piece seem left heavy. You know, you could have weighted the G so that you had that balance on the top of the K at the bottom of the G. So, you know, I, I think the design is great. I think the execution, you know, the execution's okay. I'd leave this at an 8. And that's it, guys. That's for today's hey. episode. Here is the winner. The winner is Tolga Girgin. But after he watched yesterday's video, we talked. He gives the prize to the second one. Here are the winners. You have 48 hours to claim your reward to DM me on my personal Instagram. Linked in the description. If anyone doesn't claim their reward in the next 48 hours, it will be added for the next challenges. You can still keep uploading ad entries for this challenge by using the CMCKWC hashtag. I will be checking this hashtag from time to time if there are more uh, nice entries we'll do another episode i'll give some uh, rewards all the links are in the description thank you for watching guys keep writing releasing new merch keep writing too so be around for it take care bye bye Woo